Why you not want to join in? Oh, because they're the Holy Roman Emperor, they don't want to join in. Well, that makes sense, but oh well, let's just do it. So ends my existence. Whimper. Oh well, let's do it. This fort is going to be a pain. I can't remember how many cannons you need to take care of one of those, but it is a lot. So Aachen, Magdeburg, Korea aren't interested. But yeah, you being the Holy Roman Emperor, and apparently having a truce with Austria? That's probably because they declined to help out, and... Austria getting Lithuanian help? Austria getting Pomeranian help? Ah, man. Lithuania, Pomerania, Theodoro, all renting out Condottieri. Well, at least we can take care of the Theodorans nice and swiftly. You know what I think it's time for? Policies. Discipline. Morale. Artillery combat ability. Manpower recovery speed is probably the best uh, other thing we're going to get here. Manpower recovery speed. Fudge. That's a lot of fort. And we do not have a whole heap of besieging power. Okay, 25 artillery can take this down. But just one disease outbreak, and this is all cannot. Er, uh, no. Let's get those guys back. It takes so long to siege this stuff down. Well, at the very least, we can smash some condottieri. And smash our budget. I think I took care of some uh, Theodorans there, it's hard to tell sometimes. I hope this fort actually doesn't block me, but securing this one should allow me passage anyway. Oh, that's wonderful though. Breach going in, and the Estonians coming in. Okay, the Estonians are just going to die if I leave them there. But I could have them attached to me. I'll have two units devoted to attaches, and everybody is supposed to be supportive, except my colonies. They can do as they please. I'm very interested to see how my colonies are going to handle this. A lot of my numbers come from my colonies, which should outnumber theirs, and they are all linked up. Hold on, these provinces are mine. I could make another colonial nation here if I just set up a colony. And there's nothing I love quite like 891 day travel times. Sure, why the heck not? I just want to check colonial regions first. Okay, you'll do. So will you though in your 601 days. Alright, let's very, very slowly make our way through the hell that is the Austrian fortified border. Got the breach, time for assault. Sure, if I want to lose all my units, just like Estonia did there. Estonia being the best they could ever be. Didn't I kill you? So this is a bit of a concern, because they could snipe me from that end. Oh well, let's do it. At the very least, Italy is keeping all of these enemies uh, preoccupied. Yikes. And they come with the best of their best. Do 
I look scared because I'm pretty scared. Oh well, let's do it anyway. What have you got, Austria? Tell you what you don't have, Tech 30. We'll see if that can make a difference. Tell you. With one point of morale difference and that amount of tactics and discipline, it could well make a difference. Listen, Austria, these lands belong to the perm, not to you. Get the hell out of Yenistan. The hell out of Crimea. And just get the hell out of my land. Suckers. Shame we couldn't trap them in for the ultimate kill, but you can't win them all. so keen to run in for another shot, but... And somebody brings up an excellent point. Let's build up that spy network so we can actually have better siege chance. Because that was fixed in this one, right? Yeah, I think it was. That was hot fix material. Ah, Baluchistan. Nice to see you. Why are you being such a nasty piece of work, Bohemia? I'm trying to take out your biggest threat. And you're just like, no, I couldn't possibly. Infuriating. So already that's din that's dinged my mara uh, my manpower by ten percent. That's harsh. Wish I could make the nobility like me a bit better to get <clears throat> that manpower recovery speed on the go. I'll tell you what I can get on the go, some war taxes, because jings, my money is not going to look good. And didn't I have an advisor? Like you? Should have had you from the start. Alright, so this allows us to move forward. Unfortunately, we're just greeted by another level 8 fort. Unless we take the cheatery chokery path. Because he have he has left us an opening, which means if we want to make our way to Wien, <coughs> and believe me when I say we want to make our way to the enemy capital, we only have to take down this crummy level four fort. I can get behind that. Advance. Now I fear I'm gonna get caught because he can worm his way around here. In fact, he probably has military access to a bunch of countries. Either conditionally or directly. Alright, we're gonna push, push. I took a bunch of policies about three minutes ago. <clears throat> Not going to go through them again. Theodoro, you sack of crap. Really. It would delight me to destroy you, Austria. I wouldn't have flanking on you, in fact. Actually, no, you are so weak I should be able to make good uh, use of this. As long as you don't have a backup coming in, that would be a disaster for me. I'll just force march my whole way in. Okay. Fighting in mountains, but advantage me because I have artillery backing everything. And that's going to do a lot of damage to you. I don't think you'll survive this encounter. At least I'm hoping you won't. I should have the meatier ones taking up the front here. Oh, Jings, it's a bad day to be Austrian. Those are some nice losses. Nice for me, tragic for you. Yeah, this is not a province that I'm particularly interested in marching my way into, though. So never mind that. I need to take the uh, not full of crappy forts route here.
easy on the attrition. Just kidding, nothing is easy on this attrition. Not much point in grabbing Turda, but I did want to have better layout, I suppose. We'll carve our path. Scarily, though, we're not anywhere near the main uh, attraction. They're just busy kicking Italy out of the war. Crush where we can. We've already got one siege here, but that's a four. A level four fort. It should fall easily enough. That's a level 2 fort, it should fall even easier. Okay, this fort was pretty much not worth it, and this province rather. Almost glad we have all this increased maneuver thanks to our ideas. Almost. Of course, March isn't good to keep on, it stops you from regaining morale. Don't really need me telling you that's bad. So, do we have any enemies that are attacking us from the rear or such? Because I'm not seeing it. Those numbers are deceptive. Okay, this is promising though. Looks like we're going to win in the new world and that I can be happy about. At a glance at least, but we have forts, they do not, and that makes a he okay. That's a lot of them. Glad you built a level eight fort there, now just ravage them from the back. Okay, those are weak forts, probably just there from when they conquered it from the Aztecs. I don't think 15th century forts going to hold out too well against the incredible might of my colonies. I am a little worried about inflexible movement around here due to their forts creating such a narrow passage. It's not going to work out too well for me, I imagine. And there goes one of my generals already. It's in ideal. This is also far from ideal. Sneaking up behind me. Sneaky, sneaky Austrians. Well, the great perm leaders are going to have to show us the way. That's one way to do it. Oh, God. I'm frightened. <laughs> I am pretty frightened. <sighs> it seems Jake actually makes me spend more on Paradox games. Ask for a raise, I'm buying yet another music pack. Which music pack? Are you actually buying some uh, CK2 music pack? Because that's what's being, playing at the moment. Let's engage you and probably sneak our way forward as well. Okay, if he wants to come and party in Bex, then I'm all the more for it. But I need to have two there at once. Is he going to get locked in? Nah, he's a coward. Bex isn't a great place for us to be fighting anyway. It's tricky, because I need to keep my eyes like a hawk on this. Because if he moves in, one, I need a general in the situation. Too, I need to react fast enough to it. Well, he'll certainly do the fast part. It's not what I was looking for. Maybe the nobility could help us out with a general, perhaps? Uh, this isn't so hot. It, I would certainly be putting myself into a noble crisis if I asked for one of their generals. But he's moving his way here. He has a plan. He's always got a plan. Look, there's a hundred thousand of them. They want to crush me here and now when all I have are... Really? 300? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? It's 200? Yeah, okay, I've got 300,000. I'll buy that. Okay. 
might well be worth my time slowing it down. So they're thinking about going for Bex. I wonder how they're doing manpower-wise. Not that it matters, they're probably investing heavily in mercenaries. Can all come down to high force limits to check that. So France have tons of manpower. Austria have none at all. What about when it comes to money? France have... Hmm, yeah, neither of them are particularly drowning in Dosh. But no loans for France, two loans for Austria. And with this, the Ottomans are going to make a comeback. At least that's the hope. The Second Austrian Crusade. If it fails, then that's good news for us. This is not, however, good news for us. They're on their way. Coward. I'm not interested in engaging if I don't have to. I want to tear down the forts and make my way to the capital. The ideal thing that I could do... Is that, but it's a hundred war score, that's almost certainly not going to happen. 